Hey everyone, it's Anya Khan and I'm here today to show you how to use graphite powder when you're dealing with a portrait and the skin tones and textures. In previous videos, if you look back on my YouTube station or my website, you will see that I have done other videos where I talk about graphite powder. However, we didn't use it in a practical application, so I thought this would be a great place to start. So this is a drawing that I'm working on. It's about three-fourths of the way done. We have the picture that it came from, the drawing itself, and the tools that I'm going to be using in this video. For this piece of artwork that I'm doing, I often use a lot more tools than this, but for this, this is what we're sticking with currently. So I have a regular paintbrush. I have sandpaper, which will be creating our graphite powder. I have a very gentle, clean brush. I have a blender, and I have my mechanical pencil. Let's start out with making some graphite powder. So the way that I make graphite powder is I make it from pencils. Some people actually buy it in little jars. I don't because like in previous videos, I like to look at the hardness and softness of a pencil to see what kind of graphite I would like to create. And if I'm needing a darker application, I will use a softer pencil like a 9B. And if I'm needing a lighter application of graphite, I would use a 3B since it's a harder graphite. So we're just going to take this on the sandpaper. And this is also a great way to sharpen your pencils too, if you would like to do that. And we will get some on the paintbrush. One of the most important things to note is if you see this bit of powder here, you might make a little bit of a mess. Let's say it comes off on the paper like this. Let's say this happens on your drawing. Do not wipe it off with your hands. The oil from your hands will create a smear. This is the whole reason why I have this lighter brush so that if you do have an accident or when you're working on something, you can gently wipe it off with no marks. And that's something I like to tell people right off the bat because working with graphite powder can be quite messy, as you can see. So the way that I go ahead and create a texture with the skin and start building up is by putting some on the brush, not too much, but enough to where as I'm going along, I'm noticing it's laying down. Now in the video, it may be difficult to see, and it's also I'm finding it a little difficult to talk while I'm, I'm concentrating, but you'll find it difficult to kind of see through the video. In real life, you will notice it's starting to build up. You can kind of see it on this edge here. So uh, speaking of this edge, most people tape off their drawings. I started this as a sketch, which then actually went further than I expected, so that is not why, I, that's why I did not tape it off. Otherwise, I would have the drawing taped off, so there's nicer edges here. But we're still going to go up into here and we're gonna go over that edge so it's really clean. And you probably can see right at that edge, it's getting a little darker in this video giving that sense that there's a bend in that top of the forehead. And so that's really all you're gonna be doing is building up and building up. Now the interesting thing is, as you can see, my paintbrush is is quite quite a wreck. It's not in excellent condition. And that doesn't matter for this. I'm not, uh, some tools I'm really um, hardcore about, like my mechanical pencil. I really couldn't use anything else. It feels really heavy in my hand and I enjoy how it works. But when it comes to this, I use, like I've explained in other videos, really cheap paint brushes from Michaels or wherever. So it's really not so much about the paintbrush quality, but it is about the bend in it. Remember, as you're applying something, 
the harder the bristles are, the harder the application will be. The more bendy the bristles are, the less it's going to leave behind as it's being dragged across the paper. So for me, I like a real bendy, soft brush. As you can see, it's very bendable so that I have more ability to keep layering rather than a brush that's more hard. So again, coming back in here, adding more to it, going across in areas that you're trying to build up. And as I get things where I want them to be, then I go in with my pencil and start dealing specifically with the details of the skin. As you can see, there's a lot of details in her face and in our skin as human beings. And we want to be able to capture all of that, that essence. But being able to do that graphite powder allows for the tiny details to be worked in in a way that is really more realistic. And remember, skin tones aren't perfect. No one has a completely smooth, perfect, perfect face. We want to look at all of the things that create uniqueness in a person's face. So the more that we're able to work a drawing and keep all the unique lines and beauty marks and expressions and life that comes to a person's face, the more apt we are to capture that expression of the human being that we are, we are drawing. And yes, skin textures are tedious. So back again with the graphite powder. A little bit of a darker spot right here I'm working. You can kind of see it right there at the edge of the video of that picture. And one other thing I want to share with you guys is since this was already created and there's already graphite laid down, I want to show you like I did in the previous video for those who haven't seen how it works on some clean, completely clean piece of paper. So as I'm building up, building up, building up, You can see how it lays down. And even just a gentle brush, you can see that dark spot right there. It's picking up the paper underneath here and it's creating that darker spot because it's catching it just a little harder than the rest of what I'm doing. So you can see how that works. Also with this, you can go ahead and add, you know, your finger to it to create a more smooth look. But skin isn't smooth, so I'm not an advocate for smoothing out something so smooth that it seems not real. That is one of the other reasons why I like the application of graphite. It creates a sense of texture. And then you can use this over top of it as well. So right in that area that I was working, I want to create a bit of a darkness. And there, I'm going to work it a little bit more. So, there you go. And if you use this technique, I would love for you to share with me links to your art below. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys again soon.